Hi everyone, this is Sri Lakshmi. Welcome to Salam Learns. Today we are just going to explore the three states of matter. I hope you all are very much familiar with the three states. They are solid, liquid and gases. Here you can see some of the examples. Just identify which are solids, liquids and gases. Yes, these are solids, these are liquids and the air and the gas that is inside the balloon are examples of gases. Now let's see the properties in particle level. Okay, let's see the mass. As we all know, solids, liquids and gases are having a definite mass. There is no doubt in that case. Now let's see about the shape. Okay, solids are having a definite shape. But in the case of liquids, they attain the shape of the container. Now, we the container the liquids. Our container shape on liquids. What about gases? They don't have definite shape. Now, let's move to the third property. It is about the volume. Yes, as we all know, solids and liquids are having a definite volume. But gases don't have a definite volume. Now, let's see about the particles. Okay, here you can see solid. The particles are close together. Do they have an, a space between the particles? They are negligible. What about liquids? Let's see the particles of liquids. They are having space between them. While we are comparing with solids, the liquid particles have space between them. What about gases? The space is much larger. They are staying apart. Am I right? So in solids, we can see that interparticular force, it is very high and also they are rigid. They are not compressible and also they cannot flow. Now let's see the case of liquids. The particles are slightly apart. So we can say that the interparticle force are lesser when compared to the solids and also they are not compressible and they are less rigid and they can flow. Next we are moving to the third state it is a gaseous state. In gases we have seen that the particles are apart am I right they are having a great space between them therefore the interparticular force is very very less and also they are not rigid they can be compressible and also they can flow. These are the properties of solid, liquid and gas. Let's see all the properties in a single table. So these are the properties of three states of matter. I hope you have enjoyed the class. Let's see next time. Bye-bye.